Hi, everyone. So uh, the tip of the week is how can we improve our volley? So we're going to look actually at two points today to focus just on that. The first thing is, though, it's uh, volleying 101. And this is sometimes, you know, we, we get used to playing from the baseline and the, the rack is a little bit lower. We get to the net, we forget about that. Uh, that is a problem because if a racket is down too low, it takes more time to get the racket up there to get ready for the shot. So first thing you need to check is make sure that the racket is up high enough. So I have um, a photo here. So I'm going to put that down so I can share it with you. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. Let's see. Is this one here? Okay, so we're gonna pull this down. So I just want to show you. Uh, coming up right here. So Mar Martina Hingis, you see that? So that is what a good ray position at the net should be like. So that racket, you notice it's out in front. She doesn't have it crunched into her body with her arms. The racket's out in front. And the, actually, the top of the racket is just below her eyes. So she can see the ball coming, but the racket's up high enough that she can actually react quickly. Okay, so that is what you want right there. That's what you want to look for, a good ready position at the net. Okay, so I'm going to stop that sharing. Okay, so the examples we're going to look at today uh, are going to focus on these two points. So it's going to be very repetitive in that. So there should be no question at the end of the tip of the day what we should be doing. The two points we're going to look at is that we make sure that we don't take a big swing at the ball. So it actually is, the racket's not going back. It's a shoulder turn with the racket and then forward to, toward the ball, okay? So we're not going to be on our heels waiting for the ball. We're going to go forward. So it's shoulder turn with the racket and then we move forward, all right? Um, and basically like a, a good volleying technique for just a regular volley is actually the contact is just before the foot lands. But again, it depends on the situation, depends on where the ball is at. Like if, if it's, if you're being jammed, uh, you're not going to be stepping the way you normally would as if, you know, you're able to get to the volume. So it, it will vary, but basically that's what you want to remember that you're moving forward. Okay. So no swing back, it's shoulder and racket, and then forward. So we're going to take a look at some examples here. So I'm going to share the screen again. Um, okay, so we're going to go on here. So we're going to start, I've got to close this off. All right. There we go. Okay. So we're going to look at actually Roger Fetters first. Okay. So this uh, should be in slow motion. You notice, look at the racket. It doesn't go past him, right? It doesn't go back behind him. So again, you'll see it again. He turns with the shoulder, racket's there, out in front, see forward, right? Racket's not going behind him. Okay. Turns with the shoulder and the racket. Again, goes to the ball. Okay, I think he's gonna hit a few backhands here. So same thing on the back end. See, the racket does not go behind him. It's a shoulder and racket motion. Do one more here. That's it, good. Okay, so we're gonna stop that one. That's Roger Fetter. Okay, so you saw that on his. So let's check out Stefan Edberg. Now, for those that may not be too familiar with Stefan, uh, he was he was a, one of the best servant volleyers um, back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, it's a really good example to show for volley. And I believe uh, he's got some irregular speed here. There, so see, just shoulder turn racket and forward. Shoulder turn racket, forward. Shoulder turn racket, forward, right? Okay, so we're going to stop it there and see if we move up to some slow motion ones. It's got some from the back here too, so we're going to look at the back. 
See, see where that racket is? Doesn't go back behind him. Just a shoulder turn with the racket. Shoulder turn with the racket. Here's a slow motion. Shoulder turn, racket, and forward. Shoulder turn, racket, and forward. Okay? All right, so we're gonna stop that there. We've got some backhands, I believe, on this one as well. I'm just gonna to get to it here. Oh, I made a basket, yep. Okay, so here's backhand volley for Stefan. Okay, so again, see shoulder turn with the racket, shoulder turn with the racket, and he steps forward, right? Shoulder turn, racket, steps forward. No big backswing here, it does not go back behind you. Okay, and forward, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna move on here. Uh, I just wanna take it from the back view so you can see it. Okay, there we go, right there. Okay, so shoulder turn racket and forward, shoulder turn racket and forward, every single time on every volley, that, those two things are there. Okay, no big backswing again. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next example. So we've got Martina Navratilova here, uh, one of the best serving volleyers of all time in the women's game. And uh, so we're gonna watch Martina here. Okay, so shoulder turn racket, okay? Shoulder turn racket. Shoulder turn with the racket, okay? And then it's forward, so she's gonna go forward to it, right? Shoulder turn racket and forward, all right? Here we go in slow motion. Okay, so that's a, that's a really high one too. Really good job on dealing with that ball. Okay, here we go. See, look at that. Racket is not going behind her. It's just shoulder turn with the racket. Okay, shoulder turn racket. Okay, even though that was really close to her, she, she still was able to get out in front there, okay? We'll go again here. Uh, I think she's gonna hit. Okay, she's doing the waist one. So we're gonna stop it there. Just showing the different types of volleys here, different heights. Okay, um, we're in, I think she has some backhands in here. That's five volley. Yeah. Uh, let's see. No, I thought it was on here, but it's not. Okay, so we'll just we'll do one more hers. Okay, yeah, shoulder turn racket. There's the back end. Back end. I don't know why the back end keeps doing that. Okay, we're, we're gonna stop it right there. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Martina Hingis, let's see what she does. So this was a demonstration she was putting on. Um, so she's doing reflex volleys here. All right, so just, this is a regular, regular speed. So it's gonna move quick. So just try and watch the racket. It's not going very far, okay? All right, out in front, goes to it, goes to it, goes to it, to it, out in front, okay? So every time. Okay, let's take a look at Serena here. So let's watch Serena, see what she does. Okay, look at that. Do you see it going behind her? No, okay. And then forward to the ball, right? Right, just shoulder turn with the racket and forward to the ball. Shoulder turn with the racket and forward to the ball. Okay. Okay, even though that really got right in close to her, it really jammed her, she did a good job because she didn't have a racket all the way back. That would have been a lot tougher if she brought it back too far. So again, this is a high one even, okay. Notice the handle of the racket did not go past her body. The the um, top part of the racket did so she could get it down. All right, and we'll watch one more. I think she's got another one here. Okay, see, look at that. So that, it does not go past her body, the like her back. It doesn't go back past her. See, now it's a swing involved, it's a different shot. Okay. So I'm gonna, how do I get this again? Escape, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the sharing on this one. Okay, so you could see from all those videos, every single player in that video, they're not taking a backswing. 
they're turning with the shoulders with the rocket and then it's step forward go move forward into the ball all right even if they weren't able to step they're moving forward into the ball when they're hitting the volley even on the jam ones like you could see like even though uh, like the one there was serena even though she was jammed because she didn't take that big backswing she was able to deal with the ball pretty good okay if she had taken a, a big backswing forget it she would have been in real trouble on that okay so we're going to move on to some uh photos here of the ones that you just saw so we're gonna share this okay and share it all right so we're again we're gonna go back to uh roger fetter okay just gotta get him up there okay so this is roger right so no backswing it's the arm and the, the arm racket arm and shoulders moving together you see that right okay moving together there all right he's going to move forward to the ball so he's going to the ball see how he's going to it he's not waiting for the ball to come to him okay here we go with stefan okay again no backswing it's just shoulder turn with the rocket, right? Shoulder turn with the rocket. And he's moving forward, right? He's moving to the ball. He's not waiting for the ball to come to him. Martina, same thing. Look at the racket. It's not way back here. It's here, right? It's there. So shoulder and racket together. There's no backswing. Okay. All right, and then again, she's moving forward to the ball. She wasn't waiting for it. She's going to the ball. Okay, so this was uh, Martina Hingis. So again, see, moving forward to the ball. You can see that she's not back on her heels waiting for the ball. She's moving forward to the ball. Okay. Serena, again, no backswing. It's a shoulder turn with the racket. Okay, shoulder turn with the racket. And then again, moving forward to the ball, all right? So we will stop that. Okay, so again, just highlighting those two points. Every player that we looked at here, all of them, no one's taking a big backswing. Nobody's got a backswing. They're turning with the shoulders with the racket, shoulder and racket then they're moving toward the ball so they're moving to the ball they're not waiting for the ball to come to them okay so those are the two points that you're going to work on this week and uh how are we going to do that so how how will we work on this to improve the volley so there's a good drill you can do and you can do this uh, at home you can do it uh, on the tennis court uh by the fence because what you're going to do is you're going to back up right on the fence Okay, so you're not facing the fence, your back is gonna be on the fence. And you're gonna turn like you're gonna hit a forehand volley, okay? And then you'll do the same thing on the backhand volley side. If your racket's touching that fence, you're swinging. So you're bringing the racket back, okay? You should not be able to touch that back net, it's like the, the fence or a wall, if you're doing it on a wall. If you are, the racket, you're bringing it back. You're trying to bring it back, which means you're complicating the stroke here. Okay, this is actually a very simple technique. The problem is we're so used to taking, you know, big, big swings, trying to get power that when it comes to volleys, we, we think the same way. Okay, and, and then we wind up with too big a swing and we're late on the volley and then we can't figure out, well, why can't I get my volley in or why am I miss, missing on this? Because you're swinging. Okay, so there's no swing. It's just shoulder turn with the racket and move forward. Okay very simple very simple so don't complicate it if you complicate it you're going to have problems okay it's the same on the backhand side so you're going to do 10 on the forehand side on the fence or the wall without you touching it right then you do the same thing on the backhand side 10 on that side then what you can do depending on your level of play uh, if you're comfortable enough just doing reflex volleys, you can do the reflex volleys off the wall. So you don't have to be right on top of the wall. You can back up off the wall a little bit, but you're not letting the ball bounce. You're going to do it like just reflex volley, 
ball's not going to touch the ground. And good recovery. That's going to really help you to get the shoulder turn quickly and not, not taking a big swing because you're not going to be able to do it if you're taking a swing. Okay, you're going to have a difficult time controlling it. All right. Um, if, if that's not working so well, then just take it a step down. So you're going to bounce it up off the racket, then send it to the wall. Bounce it up off the racket, then send it to the wall. So it gives you that little bit of extra time and it'll help you work on good control with the hand, okay? All right, uh, if you have a partner that you can hit with, you do the same thing. So hit it up in the air and then send it. If that's going fine, if you can do like 20 in a row on those, then you're ready to move on to just reflex volleys, okay? And again, just keep it controlled. This is not to win the point. This is to work on just that shoulder turn and moving forward, okay? You're not putting the ball away on this. It's like a warm up. So you're you're working on this, the technique for the stroke. All right. So your partner should be able to get it back. If they can't, then you're you're trying to you're trying to win a point, and that's not what this is about. Okay. So again, two points that you're focusing on for the tip of the week to improve your volley is one that is not a backswing. It's going to be a shoulder turn with the racket, and then you're going to move forward into the ball. Okay, so that's the tip for the week. Uh, everyone have a great week and stay safe. And I will see you next Monday. Goodbye now.